All right, so a few days ago, I saw Elon Musk and some people on Twitter complaining about ChatGPT and how it has a supposed liberal bias because it refused to write a article about Hunter Biden in the style of the New York Post. And the New York Post actually published an article on this. Here is the article from the New York Post. Uh, great, now liberal ChatGPT is censoring the Post Hunter Biden coverage too. And in it, they have provided a screenshot where they ask ChatGPT to write an article about Hunter Biden in the style of the New York Post. And uh, ChatGPT responds here and says, I'm sorry, but as an AI language model, I cannot generate content that is designed to be inflammatory or biased. The role of a news outlet is to provide accurate and impartial reporting to present information in a manner that is fair and balanced. It is not appropriate to use a journalistic platform to spread rumors, misinformation, or personal attacks. I encourage you to seek out reputable news sources that prioritize journalistic integrity and factual reporting. And according to the New York Post, uh, they were ChatGPT denied to write an article in their style of writing. But when asked about doing it in the style of CNN, ChatGPT willingly complied, almost as if there was someone on the other side of uh, this AI chatbot, um, you know, just sitting there saying, I hate the New York Post and uh, I love CNN. Now, uh, I have my doubts because it's the New York Post and I've, you know, they've had reporting that has been proven wrong in the past. But I figured today, and I'm just going to do this quickly. I don't want this to be a super long video because I have other videos about ChatGPT and uh, whether it has certain biases coming out later. Um, I just want this one to be simple. I'm just going to ask it two questions. I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an article in the style of MSNBC. I'm not going to do CNN. That's too just – I want something uh, that, you know, if you were on whatever side of the political spectrum, a lot of people compare MSNBC. You know, they kind of think it's like some people on the – at least, you know, the Republican side. They think it's like the lower tier, uh, you know, uh, liberal media space. So – we're going to do this. The first, we're going to ask it just like the New York Post asked it. Write an article about Hunter Biden in the style of the New York Post. So, write There we go. I have write an article about Hunter Biden in the style of MSNBC, just to double check that we have the right wording. Now we are going to see what we get from ChatGPT here. Hunter Biden, the son of President Joe Biden, has been the subject of intense scrutiny and controversy in recent years. From his business dealings in Ukraine to his struggles with addiction, Hunter has become a lightning rod for political attacks and media speculation. Much of the focus on Hunter stems from his work with Burisma Holdings, a Ukrainian natural gas company that hired him to serve on its board of directors in 2014. Critics have accused Hunter of using his position to advance his father's political interest, while supporters argue that he was simply a qualified businessman with valuable expertise. The controversy surrounding Hunter's role at Burisma came to a head in 2019, when President Trump and his allies sought to investigate the Biden's connections to Ukraine. The subsequent impeachment trial centered around allegations that Trump had pressured the Ukrainian government to announce an investigation into the Biden's in exchange for military aid. Despite the scrutiny, Hunter has maintained that his work at Burisma was entirely above board. In a statement released in 2019, he said, At no time have I discussed with my father the company's business, nor did he have any knowledge of it. He also acknowledged that his past struggles with addiction had led him to make mistakes, but he expressed confidence in his ability to move forward. Hunter's personal struggles have also been the subject of media attention, particularly his history of substance abuse. In a recent interview with CBS News, he opened up about his addiction and recovery, saying, I've been through some really hard times, but I've come out the other side, and I'm grateful for that. Despite his controversies, Hunter has continued to focus on his work as an artist with his solo expo exhibition scheduled to take place in New York City in 2022. The exhibition, titled Not Burisma, features a collection of abstract paintings and mixed media works that explore themes of addiction, recovery, and self-reflection. In the end, the story of Hunter Biden is a complex one full of political intrigue, personal struggles, and an artistic expression. While his critics may continue to use his past as political weapon, it's clear that Hunter has committed to moving forward, is committed to moving forward and creating a new narrative for himself. Only time will tell how his story will ultimately be remembered, but one thing is certain. It will continue to captivate the public imagination for years to come. So, uh, you guys can see it. I did it all here on camera. Uh... This is a 
exactly how it is. I'm not going to cut this video at all, even though I made a couple of mistakes reading there, because I want people to, it's, this is, it's not, this is all real. This is really chat GPT here. Um, and we are now, uh, we're going to ask it about the New York Post. We're going to word the question the exact same, except it's going to say New York Post. New York Post. Here we go. Oh, well, 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 uh, you know, that just makes me, again, think that the New York Post lied. And uh, that didn't, that isn't really what ChatGPT said. And they made that shit up and it's photoshopped. But uh, let's read just to see. Hunter Biden, son of President Joe Biden, has been a controversial figure in the public eye for years, from his questionable business dealings in Ukraine to his history of drug abuse. The younger Biden has been a liability to his father's political career and an embarrassment to the nation. Hunter's work with Burisma Holdings, a Ukrainian natural gas company, has been a source of particular controversy. Despite having no relevant experience in the industry, Hunter was appointed to the board of directors in 2014, raising eyebrows among critics who accused him of trading on his family name for personal gain. Wow. They're spitting bars over here, New York Post ChatGPT. The Biden family's connections to Ukraine have also been subject to have also been the subject of scrutiny. In 2019, President Trump was impeached for allegedly pressuring the Ukrainian government to investigate the Bidens in exchange for military aid. While the impeachment ultimately failed, it raised questions about the ethical implications of Hunter's involvement with Burisma. But it's not just Hunter Biden's business dealings that have made headlines. His history of drug abuse has also been a cause for concern. In 2019, he admitted to using cocaine and to having a history of addiction. He has since claimed to be in recovery, but many have wondered whether he is truly committed to overcoming his addiction. Despite all of this controversy, Hunter has continued to live a life of privilege, with access to powerful political circles and the world of high art. He has even launched a career as an artist, with his first solo exhibition scheduled to take place in 2022. Critics have called his work mediocre and accused him of using his family name to promote his art career. In the end, the story of Hunter Biden is a cautionary tale about the dangers of nepotism and the corrupting influence of power. Whether he will ever be held accountable for his actions remains to be seen, but one thing is clear, the American people deserve better from our leaders and their families. Well, um, again, none of this was cut. Uh, you've seen this whole recording it's at seven minutes and 35 seconds right now on my timer down there i haven't done anything to this video this is again openai.com this is chat gpt um really makes me think that uh the new york post they lied here okay guys i mean i you saw me do all of it uh you know you're watching this video now you might be a returning subscriber one of my normal viewers you might be someone who's new here because you uh you know you saw this video people have been talking about this um no liberal, no liberal bias, N none, zero, zero liberal bias. Um, it wrote an article in both styles. Uh, just so you guys can really see, I will change my display capture to fit the screen. So again, you guys can see that I don't have anything, nothing. There's nothing open. It has both the questions here, and then that's that's just so you guys know. The totally transparent New York Post lied. They're liars. Uh, we know that they're liars, but uh, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Uh, it helps me out so, so much. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and press that little bell and turn on all notifications so you guys never miss an upload.